Hey guys, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles, episode number 16. Um, I left you here near enough to the observatory platform thing, but uh, we, got re we got attacked by that owl in the last episode. You have to see it. Click on the playlist in the description and go to the previous episode right at the end. It was hilarious how the episode ended. You have to check it out to believe it. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to get on with the quest now. Uh, this is a secret area if you did not know that. But it's also a very dangerous area. Okay, so we're going to warp. I'm gonna warp to the refugee camp to see if there's any other quests that I can just have going. Whoa, where are we? How do you go into a lower level? Lower level, change level, L and R. All right, okay. So I want to go back to the the refugee camp just for a moment. I have to go and talk to him about the clothes. Gorman, you brought our clothes back. No more fretting over garments. I'm glad everything worked out. All's well that ends well. We oldies and kids could never have done this by ourselves. We really appreciate what you've done. Take this tiny token of thanks. Alright, 300 um, XP and grand armor and grand leggings. Brilliant. So very close to leveling up again after all these side quests we've been doing. Let's see if we can see this now. No. Alright, so there's no other quests on the go. So let's talk to this gentleman. And sell some of the weapons we're not using. Sort them at Y by attack is what I usually do. There's the Monado, I can't sell that. So I've got the Flan... Fanax? Flanax? <laughs> oh, it's got three slots. That might be handy for later on. Let's sell these though. Cam shot or shift rifle. Wow, that's a lot better. Okay, so we'll do this by physical defense. What's the thing with the wings? Warrior's diadem. Hmm. Quark gear. We should really equip that one instead. Let's equip all the stuff we want first. First, before we sell all the stuff off. Set up party. Now, let's go into Shulk. Let's see what armor we want here. So quark headgear, there's a quark with a slot, so I might change that to that. Physical defense. So this is better, because it's got a slot. Now Ryan is using... He's using... Which one is he using? He's using this. Legar gear. What's the warrior's deal? Oh wow, looks cool. I'm going to equip the legger gear on her. And Ryan can use the quark gear. What's that? Alright. Okay, so the torso. Set it by physical defense. And for Shulk, we are going to use the grand armor. What's he using at the moment? He's using the prairie attire. So just about everything is better than... We'll use this one. Maybe we'll use the Blessed Brigadine. Yeah, we'll use that one on him. And then we'll use the Quark Armor on her. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> should not be allowed, should it? <laughs> Physical defense. So again for Shulk. 
steady arms. He's the only one that can use that. Let's put that on him. <laughs> wow. It's huge. Legger gauntlets or block gauntlets? Bleed defense or paraly paralysis resist? I'll go with those. And I'll give her the legger ones. Okay. So she wants... I'll give him the grand ones. To complete the set. What's the light ones? Oh. See, if they had a slot, they would be better. I'll equip them for now. And... Encounter... Alright, so let's equip our best weapon. I think the this weapon will be better. This is double attack 10% and it's still just about over the Jaguar Lancer so I think I might go with that and stick on some gems on it. Alright we're ready to rock. Slow resist, HP up, strength up. Yeah, so there's three empty slots on this, so that is very handy. We can use strength up on that, and now we're doing more damage than the last one. I think I'll go for defense gems. I can stick on another strength one as well. And for the quark gear, we're going to put on slow resist, ether up. Ah, we'll put on agility. Okay. So that's him done. We've got one slot here. gem I can equip. That or slow resist actually. Okay. What did I get 500 of? Truly outrageous. <laughs> get an XP for nothing. Okay, so let's sell some of the crap. So I'll keep one of those. I think I'll sell all of these. And then I'll sort by physical defense. No point in keeping that one. Might as well sell it. Why is the other? It looks cool. Soil armor. No, I'll just sell everything. I hang on to the block gauntlets just to see if they come in handy for a different area. And we'll hang on to everything else. So let's see what we can buy now, see if we can complete one of our armor sets. But I'm nearly sure everything you buy, you can't buy them with slots, although that just proves me wrong right there and then. <laughs> a 
stealth rifle. Now we've already got a good enough rifle. Tom's chest plate. But I like her chest plate. <laughs> Pervert hide belt. spent all my money on rubbish. Right, so let's learn some of these. Oh, I didn't realize I had two of them. See if we got any more stuff for our collectopedia. We can do everything here. Telt top. Paralysis Mark II. Grand Gauntlets, might use them. Bind Resist Mark II. Strength up, Mark II. Now we got pelt bottoms. Hurrah! Area complete. White cluster. Oh, I'm still missing one off that. Missing a couple there. But that's the longest I've ever spent looking for blue orbs around fields and stuff like that, so... It's no surprise I got all of them. Great. So let's manage our arts now. Let's level up some of the arts that we have. I have 2,290 AP. So I think Stream Edge could do with some leveling up. Shaker Edge, we got a new move. Slash at the enemy, inflicting daze. Cool. Let's level that up once. So I've still got another 1000 AP left. So what should I use it on? Slit edge, shaker again, air slash, shadow eye. What do I get if I up upgrade that? Cooldown is faster and decrease aggro by 35%. Okay. And do Shaker again. Just so it causes more damage. But this guy's got a lot of AP put away. I want to do his War Swing. He always uses Hammer Bead as well for some reason. And we'll hang on to that AP for another time. So now she... I haven't upgraded any of her stuff really, have I? We'll do Thunder Bullet twice. And now, where's the Heal Blast? Restoring a large amount of HP to the target. No. Not that one. Heal Round to the entire party. Oh, I already upgraded that one. So we might as well do heal bullets, as she always uses that one. Okay, so that's pretty good. 700, so there's no point in upgrading any of the other ones. I don't... What's last stand? Aurora that revives Ryan once before he is inca incapacitated. It's like second chance. <laughs> this game has got second chance. 
Alright, now let's have a look at the skill trees before we go on. Boost physical defense and eater defense. This one is restore HP to an encouraged ally. I think I like that. Increase tension gained. Buff at start. Reduce weight of equipment. That's something. Oh, yeah. Increased chance of fever when gem crafting. That's something I must get into as well as gem crafting. Maybe in the next episode I'll do some gem crafting, but I haven't had the chance really to do it yet. Okay, so now let's look at these ones. What's he on at the moment? Increased tension when damage is taken. What's this? Buff at start. Agility up buff at start of battle with higher level enemies. Increase attack power of equipped weapon. Increase AP rewarded in battle. Increase aggro. Restore HP to an encouraged ally. Increase aggro drawn by mad taunt. I think I'll do this one. Because I want to have this one. Increase attack power of equipped weapon. And then for her... Extends range of long distance arts. Sounds like a good one. What's this? Increase damage, increase damage dealt by ether attacks. And boost physical defense. I think I'll keep her on that one. So what's that? Buff at start, reduce weight of equipment. Okay. Increase chain attack damage, boost physical defense and ether defense. That one, restore HP to encourage ally, heals the party slightly after a train, chain attack. Also, I get more XP now. Successfully completed quests award more XP, so that's good. So I think that is it, lads. Guys and gals, we are ready to go back on our quest with new armor and uh, other stuff. Alright, so let's warp. I think we did enough trekking in the last episode, so we're going to trek over to... We're going to go here, to this one, and then we're going to hit Magwell Road. Maybe it would be better to go to this one. So it's just down here in the water, it looks to be. I don't really have to collect these now, but I'm kind of addicted to walking into blue orbs. <laughs> so there's a little cave down there, a water cave, so let's go into that. There's something I had to kill at Ragwell Lee. Large water crystal. Oh my god. Oh, you're joking. I thought he was a fish. How is he going to attack me while I'm on land? I can't go on. Get out of here. Get around the corner. Oh. Whoa, that was a splash off the water cannon. Let's see our new move in action. Seems pretty good. How did I get there? Track build. Oh, fertile flammy egg. I need two of them. So let's look for another flammy. Just to finish off that little quest there. While I'm here, I might as well. There's another one. Yeah! 
I must get it first. I have I got one of these chests. Alright, I already got it. Cool. Material quest number one. Alright guys, let's go back on track. Let's warp up to that bridge again. So that's the kind of handy thing. You jump down from a bridge, you go into a water cave and you can just warp back up onto the bridge without having to get all the way back up again. Very handy indeed. I haven't gone in there yet. But something tells me I should follow the, the path here. Well, I've been saying it for the last episode or two that I'll get on with the quests and I've been doing all these little side quests because I don't know, I just like to have an area complete before I move on. I've always been like that in all my games. You know, I like to do something and then move on once I know everything has been done. I can just easily walk past all these mech on now. I don't think I'll fight them again. Don't want to be spending this episode doing stuff I've already done before. So we'll just walk past them. Because we don't benefit from it too much. We won't get m as much XP as we used to when we were lower level. And they don't really drop good items either, so... So that's where we saw Juju getting taken away just over on that thing there. As you can see, I haven't even explored that bit of the game yet. So the last, in one of the previous episodes, we were told to follow the bridge. And that should lead us up to colony number six. We've never seen colony number six. Let's kill that frog. I don't like the look of him. Don't go into the water. Where's he going? <laughs> he was kind of glitching or something, was he? I can't attack him now. Oh my god, I can't target him. Oh, there you go. It's because of Ryan's sword drive. He drove him into the water, look. There you go. Let me tell. So I feel we're in very good position here. Uh, our female hero is about to level up as well. well. I've never gone in here, so let's check out what's to see what's in store for us in here. Basque Cave Passage. Oh, she's really close to leveling up now. Loading screen. In fairness, due to the size of the game, I can't believe there's not more loading screens than there are. Colony 6. This is Colony 6. It's like a fortress. Did people really live here? So much has changed. It's only been a month. We'll find Juju and then smash some metal. Wait! We can't just rush in. We could enter through the mine. Mine? There's a massive ether deposit under the colony. The first settlers here built right on top of the mine. That's how we got our colony. The mine is like a network of tunnels. It's much more complicated than the colony streets. They can't have figured it all out in the space of a month. So... She means it's the best <laughs> route if we want to remain unseen. You're catching on. Great. So how do we get in? Through the drainage outlet. It's just up ahead. 
No wonder Ryan couldn't concentrate. <laughs> There you go, she just leveled up again. Right, so where did we walk from? Right, there's the path. Some creatures around. They're a bit higher in level around here. Let's kill this stupid looking thing. Slender horn. <laughs> Stabbed your one. Shala. Let's stay focused. That was too easy. Let's stay alert. Who else wants some? Right, there's a guy with a quest here. Daza in big trouble. If Daza not have the thing, then it really bad. Oh hey there, friends, can you listen to Daza? Some hoxes stole Daza's proof of Nakon merchant status. If Daza not have proof, Daza cannot trade. That doesn't sound good. That is quite a problem. Daza do not know what to do. Friends must get it back for Daza. Can friends do that for me? How could you let them steal the proof of your merchant status? Daza only look away for a second and they steal it. They want it because it's shiny. If friends not help, Daza not know what to do. Will friends help Daza? Yeah, sure thing. Friends really help Daza? Yay! Daza make sure to give friends really good reward. No problem, leave it to me. Okay. Oh, I can't help myself. Let's buy something. That stealth rifle is still stronger. But I don't have a lot of money at the moment. Safety helmet. Hunter armor. Ham's chest plate. Very gauntless. Legger. Leggings. Infantry boots. See what I can sell. I think I picked up a couple of weapons on the way here. Yeah. Jewel garden. A weapon well suited to blocking. It is ideal for those who hate to lose. This gun is bound with white tape that acts as a grip and insignia. Doesn't do a lot of damage in fairness. I don't think I'll keep that one. Just because I want to buy stuff. Health top. Bottoms and quark leggings. Okay. I get her the infantry boots, I think. That's all I have. Come back soon.
They look the same, but they're much better. Okay. So we gotta get this red thing. Or we gotta get this, uh... Oh. That's two Amblygon turtles. Hopefully these will, co these will go some way toward helping the colony. So I guess we're going downwards. But something tells me we shouldn't be jumping down. <laughs> Watch point junction. Alright, so this looks like some sort of a lift to go down. So alright guys, uh, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed episode number 16. Please remember the playlist is in the description of this video. And you can always find the playlist on my channel. And I upload an episode of Xenoblade Chronicles once every day. So episode number 17 will be on my channel tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. If you would like to help out the Dazran Trio 3 channel on YouTube, all you have to do is any of the following. You can add my channel to your sub box on your YouTube account. You could remember to click the like button on a video when you watch it. You could share a video you enjoyed on your Facebook wall or your Twitter account. And you could also tell your friends, family or even Nintendo fans about my channel on YouTube. See you soon and I love you.